Okay, I think I'm set up. Probably not, but let's try it. This is what I call my freestyle. It's like a paperback. There's no sewing the signatures together. They're all glued, which I start with a substrate, which is, oh, what do you call it? Like, like layers of paper. I use all thin papers in one sturdy paper. This is a really good magazine paper. And it has right now two layers of a tissue paper over it. It'll probably get more added. But then for this book right now, we're at 10 substrates. This is one substrate. It is made from a layers of, what do you want to call it? Get your words. Um, parchment paper and white craft paper throughout the whole book. That's what it is. Um, here's another piece that has been turned into a pocket and a flip up and this one is the same. It's a flip up with a pocket lightly stained blue. I'm working on adding details and more pages I just added this large pocket onto one of my additional add-ons to this substrate. This is a whole add-on, and this is an add-on, main substrate, add-on. This is an add-on to an add-on. This is the substrate, which this is all part of. There's going to be many layers to this. This is the one I'm going to show you how to put in because I ain't got there yet. Um, this one I put masking tape, some I put fabric, others I put just more layered papers. Um, I'm leaving one with the pocket, so i got to remember when I add this page that it's got to leave open. This, I'm not sure yet. I'm never sure. You wing it all the way through these books. So, where this has been sewn together and then tipped in on this side, which is a whole substrate to itself here. A little flip out, a bunch of little sewn in, leave a note, tear a note. And that's always a fun thing to do. Why aren't you going down? Oh, get out. My goodness, tame those papers. All right, homemade paper, love it. Thank you, Lynn. I've had it for years and use it for years. And my goodness, girl, you sent me so much. This is another substrate, which has had a pocket added to it. Uh, old paper and new paper. I'm gonna put fabric in here, washi tape, something amazing. All these our new flip ends, the large papers. You can't even see the substrates anymore. They're in here, hidden. But this is my idea of a freestyle junk journal. It's just layering your pages, making large pockets for the goodies we find in life. We all better be looking. So the main papers throughout this book, except for the embellishments, which are starting to fall in, is craft paper, parchment paper, and 28 pound coffee stained copy paper. Okay, now we're gonna do this. I have a piece of homemade paper from Lynn. And I've backed on one side with mishmash of paper. It doesn't matter. It's going to be attached to the substrate. You give more stability, the better. So, to make sure we leave it open, but we want to secure the whole substrate to this, we're only going to apply on this portion. 
using fabric tack for everything pretty much. I'm not going to go above. I'm going to let it age out. Whatever way it comes out, it comes out. You know, old age. It'll fall apart. It'll wrinkle. It'll get torn up. Who knows? Depends on what you do with your journals. Uh, mine go through a lot. Mine really do go through a lot. So what I do is I just put it in the groove. Bring the next page up. Put it down. Put it down. Then I'll put a book on it. Or two. These aren't very heavy books for the size they are, but they do an alright job with this. And the next one I got put in is just parchment, and that's going to be a full page, I think. I think I decided that. It will be a full page. So I do all that. Give it a little tummy rub. Force the issue. Go, go. And there. It's going nicely. Okay. This side, we're going to cover the whole substrate and the extra paper. Because we want to cover it all. Down the masking tape, we'll put fabric or something in there eventually. It's hard to see because I can't have my light on next to me because it seems to wash out what you get. So, and anyways, I'm sort of a glue person. I love glue. It's got to be everywhere. It makes it much sturdier. Alright. White craft paper. Unbleached. Just coffee stain. No other wax treatments or anything. So. Free of all that junk. Okay. There it is. Now, this is a 48... 40 page journal that's going to be added on like up here in the front we've added pockets already we'll add more flips or tucks or pockets here as well add something we've got a nice pocket here nice pocket here nice deep pockets throughout the book I love that idea because you know we don't like to hoard things did we close that I can't remember. Yeah, we did. Okay, we closed that one. Good idea. And here we are. Look. Beautiful. I can't wait to fill it. And oh, it's gonna be so fat. Because look, look. Already. I mean, I got all this. Already. It's going in here. Now oh, we've got some stuff in the front, so now we're going to throw some stuff in the back. This is a little sewn journal. Oh, put it together. It's going to go in here. Maybe right there. Right there, maybe. Don't know yet. Then we've got this. Love this. This thing is so torn up. So beat up. It has to go on this side so it can get more beat up. It has to go on an edge like that. Yeah, like that. Ooh. How about right here? This looks pretty. Mm. Oh, we got to figure out how to put that one in there like that. We got this one, which is the multi-layered one. Oh, here we go. That, right, and more of that. Oh, love that sound. But, here we go. Where are we going to go? All right. I guess I'll let you off. 